I have just found out that there is a new gameplay trailer for Sims 4 Growing Together. So I'm going to watch it and record my reaction to this new gameplay features because I don't know what the features are and I haven't done any research into it because I'm too excited and I don't even want to think about it. <laughs> so let's uh, hit play and record my reaction and then we'll discuss it a little bit afterwards. I say we. I'll discuss it and you'll listen. <laughs> if you want to, obviously. <laughs> let's just play and see how it goes. In the picturesque neighbourhood of Hopewell Hills, Hopewell we Hills. find the Michelsons. A recent addition to the family jumping? has instigated an unexpected and uninvited guest. Uninvited? Grandparent. Tonight, we'll use this right? temporary stay to explore the family dynamic, temporary the milestones stay. that define so one's life, him, the, the personalities that can connect oh, us or so push us apart, and how all of it is simply a matter of perspective. Let's first examine the married couple's reaction to Celeste's father's unannounced arrival. Fortunately, their family dynamic is set to close, as if um, hand-picked for them. This relationship okay. setting, if you will, has Dancing, stood the test of painting, time, thanks to the social compatibilities they share. <laughs> Throw in the many milestones they've achieved together, oh, the joy yeah. they have for Orion joining the family, and they Ryan. seem oh, to be cute. genuinely embracing <gasps> Sebastian's help in growing their family together. Uh, so, so. Sebastian is very protective of his daughter, which is why he's even more critical of Christopher. There's nothing wrong with Christopher, per se. He and Sebastian just have different interests and ways of expressing themselves. Oh, we get new interests. Sebastian has lived a long, fulfilling life. The dude's old. <laughs> that's that's what I'm saying. But he still has much to learn, especially when it comes to the man who makes his daughter happy. Oh, Orion's recent arrival has sent the family dynamics into a tailspin, causing everyone to adjust. But she's a baby. She's got better things to do. Distant. After all, an infant's world is full of firsts. And there are other firsts yet to come. Oh, oh, cute. Atlas, the once king of the castle, how he misses the days when he had his parents wrapped around his little finger. Oh, look, Fortunately, you kid for he has snuggle. always had a great relationship with his grandpa Sebastian. These two troublemakers might as well be the same person. And as far as Atlas is concerned, this old jokester is come how to many play times with is him. This kid not his teeth. the enemy. The family oh, dynamic is not something oh. easily defined. Oh. But growing together through all of life's oh, many surprises on means understanding like everyone has a different point of view. Oh, cute. Yeah, I'm, 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 I might buy it by then. Okay, so I've got a few questions. So it said temporary or un uninvited. So do you play the uninvited temporary guest going into other someone's house someone's house i don't know how that will work um and that's quite exciting that's what i would want to know and also the firsts um does that mean we're getting like a memory system like in sims 2 or is it going to be a bit like the fame perks where you buy new ones it's a bit like it you click an icon it opens up a new book or a new page type thing and you have all these little icons that are grayed out until you've ticked them off and then in, or is it going to be like Sims 2 memory system where that was so incredible. Like I could go into a house and you can read a backstory of each Sim because the memory system was that good. Is it going to be like that where they have like a who you hover over it and it tells you who they did it with, when, how old they were, that sort of thing. That would be incredible. Like uh, that would be something I would really like to do because then you would have each Sim tick off a thing. That would be fine because it's a bit samey with each new expansion pack i find that i uh like, like that like each new expansion pack really just introduces a bunch of activities i can now tick off that i've seen the animations i know what they look like i've done that now what's next kind of thing and and then i don't play for months because it's just lost my interest it just just ca just fails to capture my interest for a long time unlike with sims 2 and sims 3 when the new pack came out they was like a an integration with previous packs that doesn't really happen with sims 4 as much and it definitely doesn't have that 
draw you in, make you want to play, like dream about it, can't wait to play it, just can't do anything else, can't wait for anything else to finish and so I can get back to my game kind of game that I want. Is that too much to ask? And I feel like it is. I hate that that sounds so negative, but that's kind of what I've come to expect from Sims 4 games now, which is really sad. And it makes me really long for Paralyzed, which is, you know, made by Sims players. A bit like um, if, if, if Will Wright was to come back, um, I would definitely have a game there that I know would suck me in and I would lose my life for hours on end. Just that kind of that's what I want from a game. And yesterday, um, I went. My sister, I went to pick her up from a, a, an operation that she had, and I was nursing her really afterwards. And she's bought Hogwarts Legacy on PS5 just for her recovery period. And I was playing it for six hours while she slept. I don't even think I went to the toilet in that six hours. Two cups of tea. That's it. The whole time I was there. And I will have. I, all right, they were this size, but I will have a lot of tea normally in the daytime. And I only had two of these. I think I ate jelly beans. <laughs> that was all I ate yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> um, because I was playing this game and it's just got that storytelling, it's got that suck you in that that I'm looking for in a game. And I don't get that with Sims 4 because I think not only did they not hire researchers who knew anything about the Sims 2 lore and background and backstories and family ties even, like Jeffrey and Nancy Landgrab are not Malcolm's parents in Sims 2. Margaret and Malcolm Langrab 3 were. All of this is lost in Sims 4 because there is no story in it at all. And I'm not a creative person. No, the other way around. I am a creative person. I'm not an imaginative person. As a kid, I used to have loads of Barbie stuff and I'd set it all up really beautifully, but I couldn't actually play the game, like play with them. I couldn't come up with stories of things for them to do. And that's, I think, why I struggle with Sims 4 and it's just become a building game for me. I love creating families and stuff because I can create sets and I think that's what they've, they've hired really is a lot of people who can do a lot of dress setting. They haven't really hired any storytellers or writers to, you know, provide stories. For the sims and i really miss that and i was really hoping that that's what we can get in this and maybe they will one day we shall see but anyway that's what i'm hoping for thanks for watching and i'll see you in another video uh probably soon